That's me, Don. Oh, hang on a minute. Your wages. Have you broke up yet? Yep, today. Christmas party tonight. Should be really good. Ooh. All right. Yep. Enjoy your party candies. Look, Glenn didn't even go to our school, so we wouldn't have been able to go to the party anyway. So? Are you welcome to come with me and Darren if you want? Yeah, like I'm that desperate. Well, excuse me for asking. Look, you're a right misery these days. You never want to come and have a laugh. Maybe it's because I've got nothing to laugh about. Oh, right. Poor teenage mother. I mean, you blame everything on Bethany. I do not. Well, why don't you get Haley to come and babysit? She's always offering. Oh, come on, Candice. You know what my mum's like. She won't have it. Fine. I give up. You're pathetic, you are. Never mind, love. She'll come round. She's just a bit thoughtless. Yeah, well, I don't care. She can just get lost. Her Glenn, the whole lot of them, I'm not interested. All right, sport, you ready? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> oh, Dave, why didn't you put that in the wash? It's filthy. Well, I'm playing football. I'm just going to get even more filthy. What are you planning to do? Stink the opposition off the pitch? No. <laughs> Go and get your other one out of the airing cupboard. That's for going out and I can't play football in that. Well, it's a football shirt, isn't it? Mum, you don't understand. David, just get your other shirt. You all right, Sarah? Yeah. OK. Do you mind picking him up as well? Um, I'm doing some overtime tonight, trying to get the database finished. Yeah, OK. She OK? Who can tell? Uh, I'd say your name is, eh? <laughs> Listen, um, does that offer a Christmas dinner still stand? I thought you were working. Yeah, I can wind all the time off. Well, it's just the thought of spending Christmas Day without the kids. You'd be more than welcome. Oh, thanks. Right, I'd better get him off to the football. David, are you ready or what? She'll be back by ten. Any problems, give us a ring. Only problem is, is how to stop her crying. Oh, lovey. She's teething. She's gonna cry. Just pick her up and give her a hug. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful little girl, aren't you? Poor little mite. I know it's none of my business, Sarah, but you really shouldn't leave her crying like that, even if it is only teething. I'm sure your mum would say the same thing if she was here. Yeah, yeah, I'm a terrible mother, I already know. That's not what I said. Anyway, I thought you'd be at the Christmas party tonight. Yeah, fat chance of that. Oh, I'm sure you could have arranged a babysitter or something. I'm the girl with the baby. I mean, who would want to go out with me? Mm, what about that lad I saw you with at the bowling alley? He dumped me. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. Well, there'll be plenty of other lads. Yeah, and they'll find out about me and dump me too. There's not really much point in bothering, is there? Oh, I see. No, you don't see. Look, Sarah, you're not the first schoolgirl to have had a baby. Oh, and being a teacher, you'd know all about that, would you? No, but it does seem you're making rather heavy weather of it all. Oh, you know nothing about it. <coughs> Maybe not. But resenting little Bethany here is not going to help anyone. I don't resent her. You getting much aggravation off the other kids at school? A little bit. Well, if I can help on that score, you have to ask. That's all I need. A teacher warning them off. I'm sure we can manage something a little bit more subtle than that. Like what? I don't know. I can have a think about it for you. Listen, I'm really sorry about the noise and everything. <laughs> Apology accepted. So you're going to go and tell my mum? I don't think that's necessary. Do you? No. 
Thanks. Anyway, night, Sarah. Night, Mr. Ramsdale. She is. She's not going to try and tell us what to do, is she, eh? 